So what is this lust or in Sanskrit called Kama? This can be understood from multiple perspectives. First and foremost is, it is the desire to enjoy what you are not entitled for. It is a desire to enjoy something which you are not entitled for. You are not the owner of it, but you are trying to enjoy that. It is called lust or karma. Secondly, it is the desire to enjoy something beyond your capacity. First thing is, it is not entitled for you and you are trying to enjoy. Secondly, okay, you may be entitled, maybe you are the owner of it, but you are trying to enjoy beyond your jurisdiction or beyond your capacity. For example, you are you made gulab jamuns. You made some hundred gulab jamuns. So you have made it. So you are the owner of all the hundred gulab jamuns. So now you are trying to eat all hundred gulab jamuns. So what will happen? You will have severe health issues, stomach related issues, right? So that means you are trying to enjoy beyond your capacity. That is also called karma. First one is, you see some gulab jamun in the shop. They are kept in the uh, shop. So it, you have not paid for it. You have, you have not become the owner of it by paying. And you are just trying to enjoy that. So that is also not allowed. That is also karma, lust. Trying to enjoy what you are not entitled for. Trying to enjoy beyond your capacity even though you are entitled. And thirdly, trying to enjoy beyond the permissible limit of dharma. One is the permissible limit of your mind and body. Another one is permissible limit of dharma. The, the, the spiritual principles meant for our upliftment. Just because my mind and body is capable of enjoyment, so I can enjoy? No. That is why in the marriage ceremony, you make promise. When Kanya Dana happens, when the father, he gives his daughter in charity to a man, he is supposed to make promise. And what is that? Dharmecha Arthecha Kamecha Nati Charami He makes this promise. Man makes this promise to the father-in-law. What is that? I will not use your daughter. You are giving me a charity. You are giving me your daughter in charity, right? So I will not use your charity, whatever you are giving to me, beyond the principles of dharma. Whatever dharma boundary is there, within that boundary only I will engage with your daughter dharmecha arthecha kamecha na ati charami i will not cross the boundary of dharma and use your daughter this is the promise that person is supposed to make otherwise it becomes kama kama means it is sinful greatest enemy ihavairinam right and at last the most important thing that defines what is karma. Trying to enjoy, seek pleasure beyond the enjoyment of or without or independent of the Lord's enjoyment. You are trying to enjoy something which is independent of Lord's enjoyment. And that is the highest karma. So let us summarize all the four karmas. Trying to enjoy something which you are not entitled for. Trying to enjoy something beyond your capacity even though you are entitled. Trying to enjoy something with beyond the boundaries of dharma. Trying to enjoy independent of Lord's enjoyment. All these things constitute something called karma or lust.